Ed, thanks very much. The suspect in this case, as we've been saying, American born of Yemeni descent. And the local Muslim community quick to react to this arrest here in Lackawanna. For more on that, let's go to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Katie Morse. That's right, Joanna. Muslim community le leaders were quick to distance themselves today from Naji. They say, in fact, it was members of their community who worked with police and helped them make today's arrest. The leaders met outside the Lackawanna Islamic Mosque this afternoon. They say they know Naji because he's lived in the area, but that he was not a respected member of the community. In fact, they spoke of his shady past. They said he's had a number of run-ins with police. They were also quick to point out his actions are not supported by Islam. The religion does not teach or support any forms of terrorism. They want to be sure that everyone knows that and that people realize the local Muslim community does not condone his actions. Here we have a man who has not been seen in this community for at least three years, has not visited this mosque for years, and is not considered as an integral part of the community. He's not even in this mosque on the most holy days of the year, for years. Again, community members helping today in making this arrest in the past. Now, they encourage anyone who sees anything strange or suspicious to say something to police. Leaders also emphasize that Naji was not a dedicated member of the local Muslim community. They also hope the public does not draw wide conclusions here. They say Muslims in the area are just like everyone else. They want to provide for their families. They want to practice their religion freely and live here peacefully. And Keith is joining us now with more on community reaction.